In the wake of the September 11th attacks, Utah rose to an Olympic challenge. Citizens and volunteers worked together with Utah's public safety community to provide a safe and secure environment for the athletes, spectators, and visitors from around the globe. More than a decade later, threats continue to evolve. We have seen terrorists gaining ground throughout the Middle East and attacks multiplying around the globe. However, 9-11 and the Boston Marathon bombing have shown us that terrorism is not only a very real threat abroad, but also right here at home. We also face evolving criminal threats which can damage our communities. From gang violence to cyber crimes, drug trafficking to violent extremists, when it comes to protecting Utah's communities, we work better when we work together. Recognizing suspicious activity is about identifying the behavior a person's demonstrating, not their ethnicity or religious affiliation. Experts agree that there are eight signs we should be aware of. Surveillance, information gathering, testing security, funding, acquiring supplies, impersonation, rehearsal, and deployment. When you witness any suspicious activities, you should report them by calling your local law enforcement. If danger seems imminent, call 911 immediately. Surveillance. While planning, terrorists will often survey their targets to determine strengths and weaknesses. They may be trying to decide how well a target's protected. Can you tell the difference between a tourist taking a souvenir photo and a terrorist surveying a target? Often, it's about what they're taking a picture of. Do you notice someone taking a picture of the scenery? Or are they taking a picture of the security cameras? Suspicious surveillance activities include someone recording or monitoring security staff, making notes of staff rotations or crowd movements, or using vision enhancing devices or taking pictures and video of access points. Information gathering. Information gathering is when there are attempts to gain information from people or organizations related to a target. Criminals ask probing questions about operations and the security of places, such as water treatment facilities, schools, stadiums, or shopping centers. Pay attention to questions that feel strange and report anyone bragging about plans to harm citizens in violent attacks. Testing security. Have you ever noticed a bag intentionally left behind? This could be an example of someone determining how long it takes for security to respond and where they respond to. Terrorists may trespass into restricted areas or deliberately tamper with operations that could compromise security. Funding. Terrorists and criminal enterprises need resources to run their operation. To fund these activities, they need to raise money and transfer it in a way that does not bring attention to themselves. Typical ways may include trafficking of drugs and people and soliciting false charitable contributions. There are many signs to watch out for, such as solicitations from charities that you've never heard of or witnessing large transactions that are paid for with cash or prepaid credit cards. If you see something that may be suspicious, please report it immediately. Acquiring supplies. Terrorists often need weapons, transportation, and a way to communicate with one another. Some of these supplies may even be everyday objects, like household cleaners, fertilizers, or even beauty supplies. It's important to look for strange purchases or stockpiles of these types of materials. Terrorists also forge or steal personal identification documents, including passports and uniforms. Impersonation. Criminals may use aliases or even impersonate first responders, maintenance workers, or company employees to gain information and access to their targets. Suspicious activities may include presenting false documents or identification and wearing incomplete uniforms. If you see something abnormal or you have a gut feeling something's just not right, call law enforcement. Rehearsal. Terrorists will often rehearse their plan several times to ensure their operation runs smoothly. This may include putting their operatives into position, testing their weapons, and measuring emergency response times by police and firefighters. Deployment. During the deployment phase, terrorists are arranging their assets, getting into position, or in the midst of conducting their operation. If you see this kind of suspicious activity, you should not attempt to stop it. Rather, call 911 immediately. We all have a role to play in enhancing the safety of our communities. We can do so by recognizing and reporting suspicious behaviors. For imminent threats, call 911. For suspicious activities, contact your local non-emergency number. 
Your local police agency will ensure that all suspicious activity reports are provided to Utah's Fusion Center, the statewide information and analysis center. The success of securing our community's safety depends upon our shared commitment. No one knows what goes on in your neighborhood better than you do. If you hear or see things that indicate suspicious or illegal conduct, report that information immediately. First responders would much rather have you say something than not say anything at all. Together, we can continue to keep Utah safe, creating wonderful memories for everyone that lives in and visits our great state.